Hey, Bud, do you want a hamburger? Sure. Yeah, come on. I don't like being a cheat here. Classy. Tom. Or I'd be safe here. I didn't think you liked this place. You've been in New York for two days. Why didn't you let me know you were coming? Why did you call? Is there some place we can talk? You want to have a scene? I promise. Well, at least you didn't find me with another woman. Is there another woman? No, there is no other woman. I can say that much for myself, but not much else. Tom, once you said you'd never be without me, were they just words? No, I meant them. They were not just lying on top of the damn words. I meant them. Oh, when? When I made a big mistake. I made you split with your father. I... I regretted that when I thought about it. I, from that moment on, I had a commitment to you, and I don't want any commitments. Oh, but I... Wait a minute. I haven't written half the books I intended to write. I haven't done half the things I, I wanted to do. What came between us is time. You have so much of it, hell, you even have enough time to be unhappy. Tom, do you love me? You. And you're all I've got. You have youth and beauty, three million dollars in a Nate Bloom apartment. What do you mean I'm all you got? If you only knew how little that money means to me. Don't say that. Your father earned that money for you. Maybe he only worked at it for less than a year, but believe me, that's the hardest money he ever earned. <laughs> you said you wouldn't. This way, you gave a middle-aged guy his last pretense of being a stud. For that, I'll always be grateful. Well, we did have something special, didn't we? Yeah. Well? We did once, yeah. Well, once is not enough. I'm kind of greed leaves me speechless and drink. Tom, please. I hate to end our little talk on a note of slight but unquestionable vulgarity, but I do have to pee. Make everything so much easier for both of us if you went here when I got back.
You could have been killed! Oh 